Today, we make our way out of the Philippines and into Vietnam. We are so excited to taste all the delicious food, to experience new things, and most of all, to venture into a new world. We are Eds and Joys. Together with our baby Milka, we travel the world one beautiful destination at a time in constant search for our next adventure. So this is actually our first international flight. Hello. So today we are going to Vietnam. Tara, let's go. We're finally boarding. Once again, Cebu Pacific Air Flight 5K744 bound for Hanoi is now boarding through boarding gate 106. So this is actually our first international flight since the pandemic. So it's gonna be so interesting to see how this goes. We are now in Vietnam. I fell asleep the whole trip. <laughs> So we've actually made it here to Vietnam and we couldn't be more excited to be here. Hmm. At first glance, it's a lot like the Philippines, a lot like the airport in Manila, so. But it is a lot quieter. I don't know if it's just 7 a.m. or what, but. So we've made it all the way to Vietnam, but we still don't have any Vietnamese dong. So I think Ed's is gonna get that settled right now and see if we can get some. One, two, three, four million. Okay. Eight hundred and twenty-five thousand. Thank you. Can you write your name and sign your family? Oh my gosh, this is the best because the rates here are so good compared to what we could have gotten in Manila. They have no commissions and no fees in this calendar, so yay! They also have like a, self, a SIM card plan for um, whatever you need, so yay! It's really nice, it's like unlimited data for like five days. It's really good. Why so serious? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out yung gagawin natin for our data. So actually, this is a lot cheaper than what I expected. So that's really good. Huh? Okay, so now that we have our money and our data all situated, we have just stopped over for some snacks because we are so freaking hungry. Oh, oh my gosh, I am so, so hungry. It gets really overwhelming coming into a new country because number one, you don't speak the language and of course the money is different so it gets a little bit overwhelming because there's a lot of people offering a lot of the same things but i'm just glad that we're situated with this and then we are just on our way to hanoi old quarters oh wow we made it outside the airport and it is quite chilly here oh. I miss weather like this. It's a nice change from Manila. 
I actually did not expect this at all. I feel so silly wearing shorts now. I'm actually really happy that grab is super easy here. So we got to have a ride that will drop us off straight to the hotel. So we are well on our way to Hanai Old Quarters. It's so nice because going there the highway is just beautiful. It kind of reminds me of the highways in Singapore. So I'm just so happy because I did not expect this. I was actually expecting it to be a little bit warm but it's actually nice and chilly so yay that's a good thing for us a nice change in climate so we've been listening to the music since we got to the graphs and so galing the mixes from different artists or i think it's their local artists singing like singing covers Galing, galing ng mga versions that I hear. I almost want to ask the Grab driver for the playlist. <laughs> <laughs> you should! <laughs> it's okay. We're rescued! <laughs> Hello! So we almost missed our hotel because it's actually like in the hidden alley. It's so cute! It's like right off the highway but it's through a small alley. Here. Check this place out! Oh wow! <laughs> oh wow! What a nice place! Yes! So I was getting really worried a while ago because we got dropped off at the side of the highway and it was like a fruit shop. <laughs> I didn't know, but we're here. So this is Chang and she's gonna check us in. Hello! <laughs> Wow, <laughs> you look happy there. Super happy. So excited to try this noodles with like some meatballs and I don't know what this is but it comes highly recommended. It's so good. Let's head up. Good? You're gonna like this one. Welcome to our room and we have a king size bed. This is oh it's really soft too. And then we have a couch. Oh this feels pretty good too. And then we have our TV here, toilet and bath. And we also have big closets. You can actually put all your stuff inside. A safe and they also come with some slippers. 
So it's actually a very nice room. I'm very pleasantly surprised. I am not surprised because I booked it. Ah, oh my gosh, I can sleep right now. I'm so sleepy. I think what we're gonna do right now is just take a nap because it is 12 noon. We have been up since yesterday. <laughs> we didn't get much sleep on the airplane because it was a very turbulent flight. So. Today is apparently super unexpectedly cold because even our um, hotel concierge, um, Chang, also is very, very cold and she's from here. She did not expect this weather today at all. So for now, we're just gonna rest and then later we're gonna go back out and explore more of what Hanoi has to offer. Ah, <sighs> wow. This trip has been kicking our ass so far. <laughs> oh. So, I actually booked this hotel via Agoda, and this is totally my fault. I did not um, check the location or anything. It is beside the highway. It's so loud. It's really loud. Everybody's honking their horns. Ang ingay. Gosh, it is extremely cold. I packed all the wrong things. <sighs> Not good. Hopefully we can find some like warm clothes that we can use for the trip. Are you cold? It's so cold. It's so cold. I still want to like ice. Yeah. <laughs> I think I want milk too. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> God. I actually did not check any weather or anything before coming here. I was like looking at the vlogs of other people and they were all like wearing shorts and shirts. I was like, you know what? We'll be fine. We're not. <laughs> It's so nice here. I love the vibe of Hanoi Old Quarters. Wow, that's really nice. Very stranger things. So this street is pretty busy and I think the common thing is to just be eating out on the street so that's what we're gonna try to do 
and it looks so good. This place looks so good. It smells so good. Everybody that's come here, we, we were so jealous of what they're eating, so we decided to sit down and then just try it. Barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. This smells so good. Like you guys have no idea. I wish you could smell it. it smells really good. I think we have to go this way. Where? This way. <laughs> I think we're lost. <laughs> we're moving in the wrong direction. No. <laughs> Do we cross the bridge? So Ed's is really weak with directions. I don't know why I give him Google Maps, but he's always lost on this thing. So in this thing, like right, he turned left. Uh, do you need water and some chips? You have no choice. That for real? There's no water na ano? normal. <laughs> Nestle. Okay, just get it. Okay, just get babe. Maybe we need like three or four. Yeah, four. So we're getting small ones first. Because we're going to be able to get Evian. So the cost of the Evian is our lunch a while ago. <laughs> This looks good. Seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> so Vietnam has been such a surprise for us in the best way imaginable. We had such a good time today. When we got in, even the airport was so nice. It had the view of the mountains. Then from the airport coming to here in the old quarter of Anor, it was so easy because we have Grab here. So since we have that in the Philippines, it's just easier for us as well. The app works too, huh? Yeah, the, the app, same app works. works. Yeah. So it's super convenient for us. And then aside from that, it was unexpectedly cold. As in, it was super, super cold. It's crazy because we only packed summer clothes. So pull the shorts. Da -da -da. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my god, so long loving. We never really expected it to be like this chili so yeah the food is fantastic it is unreal and it's such a good price as well i think it's even cheaper than it would be in, like you know filipino food yeah. compared to filipino food but yeah the food here is delicious i can't believe that 
all of that good food comes at that great price. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. it's no wonder that there are not very many fast food chains here. You know, so yeah, it was just a very, very great experience for our first international travel since the pandemic started. So this is our first one together. Since yeah, first pandemic. one. The last one was our honeymoon, pa, which yeah. was three, three years three ago. Three years ago. Crazy. So this is this is this is fun. And it's I just love the first it. day. Yeah, I've missed the feeling of not being able to understand the people around me, so it makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But also, I love thriving in that yeah. little bit of discomfort. <laughs> so I love it. What about you? What do you think about our first international um, travel? It's I really miss this exciting feeling of traveling, na um, out of out of the country again, yeah. and I'm looking forward to the the few more days that we have here. Actually, yeah. it's not a few, but you know. we have a lot more days, <laughs> like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So I'm looking forward to, to that. that. Yeah. So yeah, we have tomorrow um, a little bit more of Hanoi. To look forward to and then we will be exploring Halong Bay as well mm -hmm. in the next few days. So that should be fun. Okay. That's it? Yeah. I guess that's it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.